and she's just standing on the bed because she's too short to stand like this. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, so today we're going to show you how to make dream catchers. And this is our this first. This is our best, like, like ordinary like, dreams. They're so free and really good for room decor and this is our first time making it so like if it's your first time as well, don't worry, it's really easy. Yeah, it's just so easy. There's an easy one and a hard one, so yeah. It's just so easy. And you it's all the stuff you can do at home. So yeah. Like this video. So for this DIY you'll need some type of like hoop, so you can use a craft hoop or an, an embroidery hoop. And this will be the size of your dream catcher and I've just got a cardboard hoop like you just cut out some like a ring from cardboard and just put a bit of tape around it so yeah you would also need some thread and or wool but the thicker is a bit better so I'm just gonna be using these then you'll need like ribbons and like they can be all different sizes and colors and patterns and yeah and you can put then like just stuff to decorate it with so like feathers beads bangles and like glitter and you can put stuff for the middle like foam hearts or foam shapes and you can put like just whatever you want you can even put loom bands and you can decorate your ring with paint or washi tape so Kira's painting has purple and I'm painting mine red Then you need to start wrapping your thread around your ring so you could do it like randomly like this in different like shapes or whatever. So the other option is this and basically what you need to do is tie your string around the hoop and then get it and put it underneath the hoop then create a little loop and once you've made that loop get the string and put it through that hoop loop from the top and just like pull it to make sure it's tight and it has to be tight otherwise the whole thing will come out so it's pretty simple and then you just need to do the same thing again so just make the loop by putting the string underneath the ring like this and then just put it into the hole that you just made and pull and just basically keep doing this all the way around the hoop and when you've got to the end of the hoop, start going around the string. So put it underneath the last string instead of putting it underneath the hoop. So just watch the video and you'll kind of like find out because it's really hard to explain. Yeah, so do this once you got to the second part. So you know it's turned out right, like if it looks kind of like this. And that's mine. You just tie it in the middle once you've finished and yours will probably be a bit neater. Then you can start decorating it. So I'm just using all the same colours as mine. Or you could just use ribbons, feathers, and ju we're just using tape. But you could tie it on, use wire, super glue. And Kira's just added this heart in the middle of hers. And I've had it in the middle of mine. You just tape all your ribbons on or use fabric glue. It's really easy. And you can tape your heart on as well. And I've just like used these beads on it and then when I turn it around is that that's the finished product and you can add glitter to the ring and do whatever you want. Just want attention, you don't want my heart.